Good morning on this beautiful Monday morning from New York, and welcome back to Trump Trial Edition. Um, it's my understanding that Michael Cohen is back on the stand for cross-examination today, but that they had a scheduling conference right at the beginning, and Judge Marshawn does not want to separate the closing arguments from the jury instructions and deliberations beginning. I'm Eliza Orleans, career public defender here in Manhattan for the last 14 and a half years. So I believe a decision has been made this morning that closing arguments will be next Tuesday, a week from tomorrow, and then deliberations will begin. So I think my prediction of having a verdict by the end of next week was fairly accurate, not by the end of this week. Also, I mentioned that the defense had plans to call an expert witness, but it sounds as though Judge Marchand is not allowing that expert witness to testify, that his ruling is that that expert would be opining on the law, and that is not allowed in criminal trials because it's up to the jury to apply the law to the facts and make a determination. So a witness can't get on the stand and testify about what the law says. And it sounded like that might be the only defense witness unless Trump himself were to testify, which, as I've said, I think will be extremely unlikely. So perhaps it will go directly into closing arguments and the defense won't put on a case. And that's not unusual. I think it's been a rare trial of mine where I've put on any case because I think often, you know, you want to make sure you're not taking on any burden. The burden is entirely on the prosecution to prove each element of each crime charged beyond a reasonable doubt. And once you take on any of that burden by putting on a case, then the jury starts weighing it. And really, it shouldn't be weighed. There's no weighing. It's all the entire burden on the prosecution. This may not be the most eventful week, but once verdict starts coming, once jury deliberations are going on and the jurors start sending notes with questions, people are going to be trying to read the tea leaves of any juror note, which I can tell you from experience is a very difficult thing to do. You never know why they're asking the questions they're asking and trying to read into it is not a useful exercise. But then of course we may have a verdict next week, so that'll be pretty crazy. As expected, all of the camera crews are back. There actually seems to be more of a protester presence today. Hold on, I'll show you. There's like a rally or something happening in the square across from the courthouse. More people than usual over there and lots of news crews. But it's actually still pretty quiet, nothing that bad, although you can see this, uh, the, the, some of the protesters holding signs across the, across the street. All right. Anyhow, leave questions in the comments and like and follow for more.